When I was a child, I had to study by the light of a kerosene stove. Today, in our village of Iruparque, that is not the case, as we now have electricity. With my improved cooking stoves, I use 60% less firewood and save around 5 euros every day. That money goes directly into my pocket. Since I got electricity into my welding shop, the productivity of my business has significantly increased and my business is developing more and more. Now that our health center has electricity and lighting, we can treat pregnant women at night. Before, we had to use candles and kerosene lamps and even the light of our mobile phones. One of three people on the planet lacks access to modern energy. The multi-donor program Energizing Development helps people overcome energy poverty. Within 11 years, the program has facilitated access to electricity and modern cooking energy for 15.5 million people in Africa, Asia, and Latin America. Access to modern energy services enables people to improve their lives in a crucial manner. With electricity, farmers and companies can work much more efficiently. With energy, health centers and schools are able to take care of their patients and pupils properly. Overcoming global energy poverty is not easy, but it is possible. This is the conclusion NDEV has come to in the last 11 years. But how has NDEV achieved its goals? NDEV has a bottom-up approach. Um, we support local manufacturers and retailers of stoves and solar systems to provide uh, the market with uh, affordable and high-quality products. We also support investments into micro-hydropower and into solar mini-grids. And finally, we support uh, grid connection. We support poor households to do the paperwork, to do the in-house installation, to well, pay the fee for the connection. Well, when you want to reach a large number of people with energy access, it is essential that you build local markets, markets that are sustainable and that thrive into the future. By taking that approach, we also mobilize quite a lot of domestic resources local investment money, uh, investment from customers. And that also gives us the opportunity then to develop a program, to run a program like NDEF on a fairly cost-efficient basis. I think in the, on average we use about 20 euros per person that we reach with access to energy. To boost these markets, NDEF intervenes on the supply side as well as on the demand side. Customers getting good value for their money is a precondition for emerging markets. This is why NDEV adapts technologies to local needs, sets quality standards, and helps to make products affordable. NDEV has already trained more than 30,000 stove builders and solar technicians around the world. As many customers are not aware of the benefits of these technologies, NDEV initiates information and marketing campaigns. The combined interventions have boosted markets for solar lanterns as well as improved cookstoves in many countries. In Kenya alone, more than 2,500 people started new businesses as stove builders and installers between 2005 and 2015. The demand is overwhelming, says Anna Ingwe, head of NDEV Kenya. So far, we have been able to promote 1.3 million stoves. Now, if you look at the budget of the entire program for the two phases, it is costing 4.5 euros per one stove, which is a very good cost implication. The promotion of improved cook stoves not only creates jobs, but people have to collect less firewood. Thus, women save time and money by not having to search for wood for fuel. Every improved cook stove also reduces greenhouse gas emissions. 
all of the stoves that have been put into service by Endev save the equivalent of about 1.7 million tons of CO2 every year. This corresponds to roughly 170,000 round-trip flights from London to Canberra, Australia. And let us not forget the health benefits. Traditional cooking is accompanied by high concentrations of smoke emissions, particulate matter, and carbon monoxide, which are responsible for about 4.3 million deaths every year, more than malaria and HIV combined. Improved and cleaner cooking systems emit less smoke and therefore contribute to improved health. Modern energy is also a prerequisite for quality health services. Most laboratory equipment runs on electricity. Between 2005 and 2015, NDEV has supplied systems to around 18,000 social institutions, many of them health clinics. In Ethiopia, for example, NDEV enabled electric bulbs to light up the surgery. Health teams are now able to refrigerate vaccines, sterilize instruments, and carry out analysis in labs. For densely populated villages, electricity from the grid or a mini-grid opens up additional options for development. In the case of mini-grids, the technical installation is only one of the challenges. Even more difficult is to operate a mini-grid in a profitable way to make it sustainable. NDEV supports the development of electricity tariffs that correspond to consumption patterns and the income of the customer, but also ensures that there is enough revenue for the operator. NDEV tested a number of different business models. An interesting one which we have developed uh, in Senegal, for instance, uh, where we have uh, quite a number of mini-grids, is based on prepaid systems, where we um, have a system that, that is cheaper at the end of the day for both the providers and for the, for the households. Access to modern energy opens up job opportunities as well. An electric bulb allows for longer opening hours for stores. Solar pumps help irrigate fields. Solar dryers preserve fruits and vegetables. And electricity runs machinery in enterprises. However, an electric connection is no guarantee that businesses will develop successfully. In Ghana, therefore, NDEV has supported the creation of industrial zones with improved access to energy, but it has also included business and environmental management training in its service package. In the past 11 years, NDEV has helped more than 3.7 million people gain access to electricity and 11.7 million people have benefited from improved cook stoves. Our figures are not simply the sum of all promoted energy technologies. What we do is we take into consideration some factors like sustainability, uh, which are important, which you have to consider. So whenever you distribute or you promote solar technologies uh, or cook stoves, um, these technologies have not an unlimited durability. They have to be replaced. We take this into account and reduce the reported figures to have really reliable and realistic figures. NDEV has gained a lot of experience and know-how regarding access to energy services. It was not a straightforward path. What worked in one country doesn't work in another. Trying, failing, readjusting, and succeeding. As a learning program, NDEV, over the years, has fine-tuned its methods and has collected a lot of knowledge. We share our experiences and our results with as many as possible implementing organizations, other donors, other partners, to uh, have them profit and, and learn from the things that we have learned into the field. It is a huge challenge to reach 1.3 billion people with access to electricity and almost double with access to clean cooking energy. But we think it is possible. We expect that by continuing this and joining forces with other implementing parties, we will be able to reach the UN Sustainable Energy for All goals. Mm -hmm.